Hello, we are the Deco Saxophone Quartet. My name is Benjamin Morris. I am joined on stage by the commander of Thunder, Noah Brisson, China's favorite tenor saxophonist, Jacob Bernat, and Shang Bo Lin, who is from the beautiful coastal city of Yantai in China. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Artist Launch Competition Finals. It means the world that you've been here. I'm sure that you have enjoyed your time listening to all of our immensely talented colleagues this evening. We want to keep that energy alive with a program that might be a tad bit different than anything else you've seen so far. Now, since this is an educational broadcast, and there will be a quiz tomorrow, so take notes, I'm going to give you a couple facts about the saxophone and saxophonists that you might not have known before tonight. First, the saxophone is a Swiss army knife. What I mean by that is, in our relatively short history, only 170 years or so, we have managed to weasel our way into virtually every facet of the music world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where aren't saxophonists? We're everywhere. That being said, um, the second thing I want to say tonight <laughs> is that saxophonists are borderline kleptomaniacs. We love to steal other instruments' repertoire. For instance, the first piece we played is the Italian concerto by J.S. Bach, which was originally intended for keyboard instruments, but has found a home with saxophones around the world. Saxophone quartets love to play this thing. Now, don't get me wrong, we have our own repertoire too. Alfred Dazenclo's Quartet for Saxophones is one such piece that is near and dear to our heart. And now we're going to have Noah, our commander of thunder, talk a little bit more about the piece. Hi, as Ben said, I am their commander of thunder, their berry player, Noah Brisson. So for the second part of your quiz tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about the history of the saxophone. We came out of Paris, France, and were patented in 1846. Our inventor, Adolf Sax, has had almost as much of, as much of a hard life as the saxophone has had itself, from falling out of a window at the age of two to accidentally drinking boric acid and even having a body double killed in a failed assassination attempt. As the offspring of Mr. Sax, we have inherited his predisposition for chaos uh, when a jealous competitor took his prototype of the saxophone and chucked it across the floor at the Paris Industrial Fair. The animosity that we have faced as saxophonists through our history is one that hasn't necessarily gone away, but we have pushed through that and we have been widely successful around the world in solos, uh, soloist performers, quartets like this, and various other acts. As Ben said, we love stealing other people's music. However, we really love the music that was written for us, partially because no one else will play it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that being said, uh, Alfred Desenclo, uh, the next excerpt you're gonna hear, was doing amazing things back in 1964 when he wrote this quartet. The music he wrote is some of the most important music of the saxophone canon. So that being said, we're going to play a small excerpt of his calm and introspective second movement for quartet for saxophones. Thank you so much. I'd like to take just a minute to tell you a little bit about who we are as a group. So this group was born out of a project that we did this past fall. Uh, the Chinese embassy reached out to us and a few other Chinese and American groups around the country, and they were looking for some musicians to put on a virtual concert in celebration of the Mid-Autumn Festival. And so we collaborated. Um, we found some music, some of which was traditional Chinese music, and we put on a virtual concert that was broadcast on Chinese television and seen by millions of viewers. And I mean, we just had such a blast doing that. And we were so inspired by that opportunity to do that international outreach. And I think that's just really shaped who we are as a musical group and our mission. 
So our mission now is to continue to seek out these composers and musics from other cultures all around the world, to adapt them in an authentic and meaningful way, and sort of give them a new life through the versatility of the saxophone, and just ultimately expand the instrument's repertoire. And our first opportunity to do that was for this project for the Chinese Embassy, thanks to Shangbo's former teacher. He took a traditional Chinese melody called the Dance of the Yao Tribes, and he arranged it for saxophone quartet. Um, so we're going to play that for you shortly, but Shangbo, why don't you uh, just tell us a little bit more about that first? Yeah, like we already mentioned before, uh, the saxophonists like to steal things from other instruments. And the dance of Yao tribes is a big steal. And this piece is originally composed for the symphonic orchestra, and my former Chinese saxophone teacher transcribed it to the saxophone quartet version. And in this piece, you can hear two distinct themes. One is slow and lyrical, another one is quick and rhythmic. And because this music is so rhythmic, a lot of dancers use this music to dance it. So today, we would like to show you how a saxophone quartet dance by this music. And obviously, we cannot be as graceful as a dancer because the saxophone we carry. But we definitely created a dance that we feel captures the character of the piece. And thanks again for watching tonight. We hope you enjoy the dance of the Yao tribes in a deco style. <laughs> 